Hmm. Well, I mean, that seems all very straightforward, but you know, what should the businesses keep in mind before jumping into Teams VoIP? Like, are there any early hurdles or setup steps or anything like that, that that you need to contemplate or plan out first before you, you end up doing this? Well, I think with any deployment of any you know technological solution, there's always the budgeting aspect. With any SaaS-based solution, right? So somebody else is hosting it, you're paying a subscription fee to access those mm. you know services. So if you're you know okay with buying your own hardware and spending a lot of money up front, capitalizing it over you know a, a given period of time, this is going to be a completely different model, and you need to understand the costs that are going to be associated. There will be costs to also implement this solution because from whatever provider you're with today, you have to migrate to Microsoft Teams, meaning you need to take your pool of numbers, right? Your your primary phone line or anybody's direct phone number, you need to take those numbers from whomever owns them or is hosting them today and migrate them over to Microsoft. So there, there's a there's a project involved with getting this up and running. It's not just something you go oh. apply a license, mm. flip a switch, and you're off to the races. Can licensing also trip people up?